I want to share a brief portion of my testimony to try to encourage anyone out there that knows that God has called you into the ministry and you're refusing to follow. Romans 11, 29 says the gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. God isn't going to change his mind. You can't be in rebellion. However, let's say you come to God and you work for God for a little while, then you draw back and then you begin to chase secular success. You begin to chase money. You cannot serve God and money. The two are in conflict with each other. Matthew 6, um, 24, I believe. The gifts and calling are God without repentance. Philippians 1, 6 says it guarantees us that God will complete, perfect, bring to an end the work that he started in us. So I come to the Lord. I had my first experience with God as 10. I started preaching when I was 21. Um, had some insecurities about being raised, not dirt poor, but you know, um, just a little bit above the poverty level. We just didn't have a whole lot. Um, and, and I knew that if I could outwork everybody, I could have success. So I poured myself into being an industrial radiographer, an iron worker has some success. Then I pour myself into sales, get moved up quick, have some success. And at the same time, I was trying to juggle the ministry and work. And let me tell you, there are some very successful bivocational uh, preachers and pastors, but their primary thing has to be the gospel, not that secular position. If they have to drive a little less of a car than the neighbor or live and not quite as a, a, a nice of a house as the, the lawyer, then that is necessary for them to pursue what God has called them to do. Nothing wrong with working. Paul was a tent maker. But when we forsake, when God starts that work, when God calls us, when we come, when we accept that calling and then we withdraw, God starts making things happen to bring us back. So listen, if you know that God has called you, God is going to bring you back. He, he guaranteed that in Philippians 1, 6. Now, I do believe we can reject Christianity. I do believe a person can be saved. And uh, um, I don't think at no time God ever removes free will I believe that the sin of apostasy, rejecting Jesus Christ, or uh, believing there's multiple ways to reconcile with God is the sin of apostasy. I believe that is the great falling away in uh, either 1st or 2nd Thessalonians, the 2nd chapter. But if you don't do that and you're pursuing this secular success, God is going to turn you around can't tell you the number of nudges, the number of nudges God give me to point me back toward what God had called me to do. Uh, born to preach. I remember that's what I was called to do. May 25th, 2007, uh, my home was searched. I stole $127,000 over the course of a couple months um, to support a lifestyle and a drug addiction that was just ridiculous. I was taken to a Walker County Jail for five days and then 14 months later I started serving a 30-month prison sentence. That was the event that turned me around. Anything that you put before God, if you're called to God, God will remove. If you put that spouse, those kids, even you put your parents, even if you put that church before God, God is going to remove that from you. God explained, I am a jealous God have no other gods before me. 
Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added. So understand, if you got a call of God on your life uh, to be in the ministry, if you have, have a relationship with God, you've just got to figure out how long you're going to be rebellious, what all is going to have to happen until God turns you around and turns you back to him. God bless you. I hope you have a good day.